Low key, look, I'm, I'm gonna talk about it. I just went live about it right now. Niggas had it all the way out just a minute ago. Dog, let me ask y'all a question because, well, you know, you're media. Um, and Ron, you're a league owner. Which one do y'all think is more important? Quality performances or quantity of performances? Mm, I think. I think a bit of both. I think a balanced mixture of both. I feel like it shouldn't be too much quantity. You feel me? But I feel like that quality only takes you so far when the quantity not there along with it. Bro. So what is what, what is too many battles a year? It depends. It depends mm. on where your rep is. Like if you're if you're new in the game, like okay. Most people take a lot of battles because they're trying to get to uh, they're trying to get their name out there so that they can get recommended to get on these king of the dots and these URLs, right? That's mainly the reason why a lot of the young young battlers who are new in the game try and take a lot of battles because they want to get their facing, right? I feel for them having a lot of quality battles would be good. I just feel like if you're in a position like say if you're okay where Ron is right now, where you're at right now where Yak and people like that, where you guys are at taking a lot of battles doesn't make sense because you've already established a foundation. A lot of the younger up-and-coming dudes haven't established a foundation yet, so they have to take more battles. I don't agree with that. What's your take? One battle. It only takes one battle to be amazing. To be recognized. That's what it takes. Yeah, that's true. One could change everything, but how often do one change everything? All the time. Everybody has a breakout battle, bro. Everybody has a breakout battle. When that at that battle, they're just like, "Damn, this nigga is slow." All right, but call somebody bad. out and then let's do their timeline and see if the other shit mattered in that in that equation or not. Nigga, let's do you. You say who? You. Oh, we let, we can do me. We can do me. Right. I haven't had one. my breakout that got me in the in the door yet. You feel me? Right. So I'm saying that we can do me, right? I've never played this thing. I've never battled a lot. Never. My whole career, I've never battled a lot. I've taken no more than four battles in a, in a year. Maybe five. Five was probably the max. The one of them, and one of them was a one off. A one off or a one round? Yeah, one of was a one off. Huh? A one off or a one round? Uh, one round. I'm sorry. It was one round battle. My bad. It was a one round battle, and I, I was supposed to battle Sonic Sound Wavius in Oakland, right? He didn't show up, so mm-hmm. I bother I battled Father Foul with those bars, right? And then I happened to be at the same event he was at, and we did a one one of the rounds together right there, again, right? So technically, I battled twice. I only prepped for four battles. I've never battled more than four times in a year. Never. Right. So like nobody's thinking my my breakout battle would be me versus J Money. No, I'm lying, me versus no. Even though it should have been me versus Ratchet, but that's either him or there. Me versus no was what got me noticed, right? In a way, that's what I was told to my knowledge. Right. Cause that was just my last battle I had before I got my PG. Right. So Yeah. <laughs> Nobody, nobody's taking me versus no and saying, yeah, Jesus, man, yeah. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, if, it, if I would have been mediocre that battle, like, my career would be different. You feel me? Even though yeah, I had accolades against me versus Ratchet, even though I did all the other shit I did against everybody else, the good, the bad, and the ugly, none of that mattered when I got to know. None of that mattered. None of that shit mattered I still when think. I fucked up <laughs> Hmm. Right, because it, it, it's okay. It's a it's a battle by battle basis when we're talking about progression of your career. Right now, if you want to talk about legacy, right, then we can talk about your resume. And I guess people think who you battle matters and shit like that. But like I'm talking about just overall progression as a league owner. Right, as a league owner, when you're booking people, are you booking people because they had 20 battles, or are you booking them because they had their last battle with fire? Yeah, I'm booking them because uh, you feel me. They last or last couple performances. 
are fired, right? And if that person yeah. only battles to your league once every six months, you know exactly what to expect from this person. Right? For the most that's part, what, yeah. That's what you know what I'm saying? Like, well, that's, well, that's why you're booking him. Okay, when he come back, last time he was here, he was good because I'm going to book him again. He hasn't battled in six months, but shit, okay. It's still the same battle. You feel me? That's what I'm saying. Like, niggas be treating inactivity like it's a curse. You feel me? I but agree with that to- for the most part, but I would at least like to see a nigga have one other battle, you feel me, in between that six-month period because a lot of niggas tend to get rusty. Everybody not chew and just sit in the chamber and be like, you feel me, beasting up. Some niggas, you feel me, they need to stay conditioned. Uh, you know, contrary to popular belief, if I don't have a battle book, I don't, I don't, I don't think about bars. I'm not a rapper. You're a lie. <laughs> you're not, you're not a rapper, but you still think about bars. You're a thinker. I don't, You're not gonna sit here and I tell don't. me you don't think about bars. I don't not I I don't think about bars for myself. I don't think about concepts, none of that unless I have a battle coming up. I'm not lying to you. My mind is completely off of battle. I'm just a complete. If I'm not booked for a battle, I'm a complete fan. And every time I every time I start prepping for a battle, I'm nervous. I don't know how my shit is gonna be received. I don't know. I don't know if I can. I'll do my last performance. I'm nervous every time I prep. Cause it's not. I'm not just thinking about fire bars every month that's passing by. I'm not doing it. I don't, I don't, I'm not. I'm not. That's not me. I'm not consumed with this shit that way. And I'm not just writing bars and music to keep my pen sharp, quote unquote, right? Because I'm not a rapper. I don't make music. I don't freestyle. I don't do. You know what I'm saying? That's like, you know what I'm saying? So, like that. So when niggas are saying shit like. I was arguing with R&B, right? Not arguing, we were having a conversation. Right? And I was talking to like, I don't feel like they had fucked with me as tough as they should have. Right? And he told me that I couldn't really be the face they had because I don't battle enough. Right? But niggas don't say that to me. Niggas don't say that to us. You know what I mean? Niggas don't niggas say, say it, it about Mook. Niggas, niggas say it about Mook. I get you, Lux. Niggas do be on Mook about it, though. Nah, that, that's because... When it comes to that GOAT down, talk... We're, that's what I'm saying. We're not, talk, we're not talking about putting me in the GOAT position, right? We're talking about... Well, all I said was, when I show back up, when I decide to come battle against AF, whenever it's going to be, right, there should be no reason why I'm, I'm third on the card or close to the bottom, right? Because my last performance should be solidified. My fan base is solidified, right? The respect I have for my peers is solidified. But niggas be trying to, like, stay on hold because... These are you inactive necessarily, or you're not as active as other people, right? That I'm not tight. Like I can't be, I shouldn't be mentioned with the other people, even though all them other battles that niggas is having in between should be average. All right, this what I'm like. This what I'm gonna tell you. If if it ain't no Danny Day, you feel me? Like niggas like that, it shouldn't really be too many people that would make it above you over you feel me on the card or whatever. But um, at the same time, you got to look at who's the king of URL, the active nigga. You feel me? Look, K Rock don't battle that much. He battle. K Rock probably battle. Hey, you low key sound far away. I said, me and uh, K Rock. But see, the reason why it's not like I can't battle, right? It's not even about that, right? It's just really like the quality of opponent, like what in in event, right? Like, do I really want to take time off work? Do I really want to, like, you know what I'm saying? It's got to be important to me. It's got to be enticing. And, like, I don't not battle because I can't battle more. I've been battle three times a year. I've done it plenty of times, right? So, in both of us, let me see, I did, no, between September and September, I only battle twice. Yeah, two years. Once every six months, I you know. But, uh, the shit is just one of the I mean, like, I don't like, I, I don't think that me, I, I don't think that battling nine times makes somebody better than a nigga that's battling one once a year. I don't think so. Right. Especially if the one time you hit the You know me? No pussy. If every time somebody shows up here cooking, bro, it shouldn't be a hill. This is another year he doesn't battle enough. 
You know what I mean? Like, that shit, that shit is yeah. what is pretty and people oversaturate the film. Not growing, not progressing, saying bullshit. Like, come on. Come on, man. Man, I don't want to I, yeah, that's what. I, go ahead. I agree. I, I, no, I was gonna say I agree with the with the oversaturation comment. I do feel like there are those who are. My my thing with taking, so say this: a lot of battles in a year, in my opinion, is over four. If you took one battle every three months, I wouldn't have a problem with that. Every three months, you took a battle, no problem with that. That's normally how URL has about four. Big events a year. You have Gnome, Summer Madness, and then two other events are like big stage type events, right? So I have no problem if a person took, say, four battles in a year. If you took over four, my only thing is that the quality of your competition either needs to be increasing or it doesn't uh, dip below whoever the best person was you battled this year. So if you're battling, if you're battling Daylight, Disaster, Danny Myers, and B Dot, if you wanted to take a fifth battle or more, you can't be taking battles with local, local like high school legends. Like you got to be battling dudes like Gucci, Diesel, <laughs> Ron. Like you got to be battling with taking battles against just regular people. That would be me. But then again, there's a dude like you got dudes like JC who will battle top tiers and bums. Give them the same respect with coming with three full rounds, and their stock never drops, even when they take battles against lesser comps. So it's like, I don't know. It, it kind of depends on the battle rapper and what they can actually like do. No, nah, I mean this is this is how I look at it, man. I kind of look at this shit. Come on, bro. I kind of look at this shit like um, I, I have a very like definite opinion about a lot of things when it comes to battle rap, right? In most cases, just like I don't think who you battle matters. A good round is a good round. An amazing round is an amazing round, right? I don't think it, it matters as far as like battle quality, but not quality of battle battler. If that makes sense, right? Um, so like, I it, I don't think it matters a lot that for y'all niggas to be like this dude's on fire. And my and my opinion, and that's because I think a lot of people think it does because they great on the scale. My biggest pet peeve about battle rap, actually, right? Is that people grade on the scale? You feel me? If I took yeah. no offense to nobody that was on that card, but if I took the bars that, let's say, no not to, I watched what Dick Shaney had at, at Magnitude, right? And I spit that same material, y'all gonna look at me like I done lost my touch and not cheer for it, even though there was parts of that battle that people cheered for it. You feel me? And I think that's cool. I think that that fucks up the whole the whole the whole system. You feel me? But if everybody is graded by the same criteria, right? Then how do we ever 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 And that's why you hear people talk about favoritism and battle rap, that shit is real. Why that shit is real, bro. No, I get preference. Yeah. Everybody has a preference. You feel me? That's cool. But it's fiction. You know, I'm, you know what I'm saying? And King Malcolm Jamal can go and get reaction in, on, in crowds, right? And niggas say he's dope. And then if I was to turn around and say that same shit, right, why wouldn't I get the same respect? Because what's dope is supposed to be dope regardless of the level of competition. That's like when I was growing up, you know what I'm saying, playing basketball and I was in elementary and I was trying to play basketball at the park by my house. With the, with the grown folk, right? Niggas wasn't cutting me no passes because I was a kid, right? It's either nigga, you're going to play to the level of competition or you're not going to play. We're not giving you these little baby fouls. We're not letting you get away with double driven and traveling just because you're 11. You feel me? That shit is out. Like, if you're going to step into this realm of things, then you're going to play to the level of competition, and we're going to judge you the same way. We're not going to just pick you because you're cool for delivery. You're out. No, we're trying to win. So we're not going to pick you if you're just not good. But battle rap doesn't operate that way for some strange and unknown reason, right? And that's why you got people, you know what I'm saying, telling people weird shit like, oh, Diesel should battle more. Diesel needs to battle more, and I just don't think I should. I think I battle with nothing. 
based off the product that I put out and the opportunities presented to me, right? Because what's the point of taking a battle on two weeks' notice and then fucking up my consistency and quality, right, just so people can see me again? That's yeah. why I think Torque is fucking up at You feel me? He took Mike P on the last minute. Look what happened. That battle was nothing special, right? He keep yeah. taking these last minute battles so people can see him, and I don't, he hasn't been lived up. He hasn't lived up to his same consistent quality, and now he, now nobody's talking about the nigga. Do you feel me? Yeah, that's the fact. He went from being one of the most talked about battle rappers to shit. All right. You feel me? And I get it. Like it's one thing to, to start battling a lot. And then to stop, right? That that looks weird, and people are gonna look towards you, and that can hurt you. But if I like a nigga like me, who ain't never battled more than four times in a year, I've never taken more than four new battles in a year. Me taking two isn't that big of a drop off. You feel me? Yeah. Especially if I'm headlining traffic too, going to New York and get any drops, going to New York and getting drop, come back to Cali, headlining traffic three, right? For the PG event, right? Like or the one off the low nigga card. Like, so where, that, where am I not battling enough? Every time I'm battling, I'm showing a certain level of excellence, right? So why is it that point, why is my quality at that point not being respected and being tainted and overshadowed by my level of inactivity? Like, that's crazy to me. Yeah, I mean, I could definitely see, I, I could definitely see that, you feel me? And it's like, you've never been, like, Ain't nobody ever said Diesel was inactive. It's just like, oh, he ain't battled this year yet. You feel me? That's how niggas usually would speak of it. But, nigga, we would like to see you battle maybe once more a fucking year. Like, niggas like to see you battle, nigga. You can't be mad at the the people for one and more that come with it. That come with it. You feel me? But I can be, right? I have every right to be mad at people for asking me to be anything than what I am. You feel me? That's like going to a fucking Antonio, uh, that's like going to a fucking Celine Dion concert and asking a bitch to rap. <laughs> no, nah, it's not the same. Thing? It's like them no, going and asking a bitch for an encore. It's not the same. It's like them asking her for an encore. No, no. Niggas just want you, you to do to more of you. It's not that they want Nobody you to be me. something other than yourself. They just want you to be more of you. But I understand your point, but you can't get mad. Look, you you a you a celebrity now, nigga. You doing one offs and shit. You think the people you're open to the public now. That's what you asked for. You can't just go to Walmart no more. You can't just walk in Walmart no more to get your tissue and all that. You gotta send the people. Hey, man. Or you gotta deal with the people. I I ordered my tissue from Amazon, man. You know what I'm saying? Oh well there you go. There you go. You know what I'm saying? Go get y'all some of that. Because right now, <laughs> anyway, nah, this is what I'm saying. I have, look, man, if I have been following a strict, like, regimen, right, then how dare, how dare you question the process? How dare you? You're not a real fan of mine. I should, I need to see. If, if niggas is making lists of the dopest battlers, right, and I'm not being mentioned because of inactivity, that is the criteria you really give up being dope? No, it's not. It's I agree with you mostly, but it's your job to keep yourself in the conversation. You know what I'm saying? I agree with you 85%. Right. I'm just a footnote. Right, and that's fine. Like, cool. I'm, I ain't never been like the most popular nigga in anything I've ever done in my life. You know what I'm saying? But I've always been, you know, what I'm saying, able to execute all the things that I I want to execute. Right? I've never had a problem with getting the things that I really wanted out of life. That's just and all across the board, right? So me not being like the most popular nigga on the West Coast is cool. That's not even the issue, right? The issue is when niggas be like, like flat floss that today, and he talk, and he meant it as a compliment, right? Which is cool, and I ain't mad at him, right? The nigga said, Diesel fire, but he don't battle enough. Why do, why do we need the butt, bro? Why can't you just see that Diesel is fire? Yeah, I feel that. You know what I'm saying? Like, but like I say, that just means 
Look, that just means people fuck with you and they want more from you. You looking at it the wrong yeah. way, even though they not they not presenting it necessarily in the best way. That's the translation. They fuck with what you do and they want more of it. No, I'm no, I'm I'm, I'm a lot of things in life, bro. Trust me. And one of the things I'm not is a fool, right? So it's not like I don't see the the fucking the support, right? It's not like I don't see the love, right? It's not like I'm just ignoring it, right? But I have to tell this story every time I say something like this But in high school I took a speech class Because my English teacher failed me And in summer school they tried to give me the same teacher I was like nah I ain't taking this shit She's going to fail me again So they gave me this old mean ass lady named Miss Campbell right? Old mean ass lady One of my favorite teachers She taught me in my speech class that when you're talking to people You have to talk to them Through their understanding right? And if you can't do that you're failing You see what I'm saying So like when I'm talking to Somebody like I work at the airport, right? So when I'm talking to somebody who don't speak English, right, I'm not gonna use the word trash receptacle, right? That's stupid. I'm not talking to them because they're understanding, right? I'm gonna yeah. say trash can. You feel me? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I'm not. You know what I'm saying? Like, because that's the way they understand it, and that's the best way to communicate with them. So if people are communicating with me or about me. Right in, in ways that I'm going to see And it's going to get to me Right Then why are they not Communicating with me The way I Understand shit I communicate with y'all The way y'all understand shit Right yeah. You know what I'm saying Like when I, I don't I don't lose people In the way I speak to them If I mean to get on your nerves I'm on your nerves If I mean to Rectify a situation The situation is rectified Right Like I have no problem with that Speaking to everybody Through their own understanding So why can't people Do it with me You're right now You're trying to get me To understand what they're saying Right And I'm trying to get them To talk to me So I don't have to get What you're saying It already makes sense yeah. Nobody Nobody in this world though. Like I said Steve should have For Steve is about to be wild man I got a year and a half And I be watching this shit Right and watching people get praised for shit that I know if I said it, it'd be crazy. And that may be the bed that I made for myself, right? I don't know. I don't know if I made that for myself by calling a bunch of niggas trash or if I made the bed for myself, <laughs> you know what I'm saying, by operating the way I operate when I'm in the ring, right? It may be a combination of both. I don't know, right? But it's something that I truly struggle with. One more time? Let me ask you something, bro. No, I said, let me ask you a question, bro. Um... Uh, and this is important. This is this is Nico. Okay, you didn't sound like yourself for a second. All right, I'm listening. Y'all hear me? Yeah. Yeah. Now. Yeah. Me. Okay. Cool. So I was gonna say, when you getting this critique, bro, who is critiquing you? Like, don't don't not the names of the people, but what level are these local legends? Or are these URL King of the Dot caliber dudes or dudes who's like top level? Like, who who is the caliber who's critiquing you? It all depends on what the critique you're talking about. That I don't battle enough shit. That you don't battle enough. Um, I've actually got it from shit every. Everybody, you know what I'm saying? URL said I should battle more. King of the Dot never said it because they don't want to book me. That's another story, right? Leagues that I have battle for, fans, my peers as far as battle rappers, right? Shit, some of even the barcode niggas, they don't tell me no more because they know my response is going to be wild. And I'm going to get pissed the fuck off if they tell me to do something that they know I'm not going to do. But they feel the same way. Everybody feels the same way, right? But no, But that's because they're trying to get me to operate by everybody else's formula. And that's not the formula that got me to be Diesel that I am today. So the critique comes from all over. I've got it from league owners. I've gotten it from fans. I've got it from other battlers, right, of every of every level that I've spoken with. Somebody from somewhere has told me, yo, Diesel, you should probably battle more. But I'm like, why would I do that? If, I, if I'm going to – if I'm going to – Risk the integrity of my material. I don't. I just don't see the point in that. Especially because if I quoted niggas, how much money they would have to pay me to even think about it. Because the integrity of that—that's what it means to most of me. You know what I'm saying? Something that you know what I'm saying may be overshadowed or unknown to a lot of people, but like the integrity of my material is important, which is why I take so long to prep. That's why I take so much time to prep. I got a round and a half. I got a battle. 
I, I mean, I got a whole lot of thoughts, but like I got, I got a round and a half for him, right? In my battle in two weeks, you feel me? And I've been working on because I got stuck on something, right? So I've been working on it, trying to figure this shit out, see what I'm gonna say and how I'm gonna figure it out, like because it matters to me. I can't just say anything. I wish I had the ability some of the other niggas say just say anything. I wish I right now. I wish I had it in my heart to. Or in my mind right now to pick a bar out that I just absolutely hated that nobody crucified, but I don't got it in my mind right now. I'll watch the battle rap this weekend and figure it out for y'all and post it online and shit. But yeah, but anyway, that's, that answers your question. I don't know if there's a follow up question, but I get it from everywhere you go. Yeah, no, the, re- the reason why I'm asking is because I feel like when people are local legends, and what I mean by local legends, I'm just talking about people who are I don't take LA Battlegrounds, I Evolve, West Coast Elites. Like, you're on a local level. Like, here in the West, you're only battling on local leagues. And that's really where you're getting all your – you're not anywhere else. You're, no, you're not seen anywhere else outside of here. So that's what I mean by local legends. When you're being critiqued by them, a lot of them take all these battles because they're not getting these looks or are not putting themselves in a position to get these looks or calls from URL. So they look at somebody like yourself who's actually doing something with URL is actually getting better looks. They feel like, well, no, I haven't seen you enough this year. You got this battle. That's great. But I haven't seen you that much this year. There's a lot of y'all who I feel like do not need to take a lot of battles. You're one of them. Um, I, another dude, if you look at 65 this year, he's only had maybe, what, four battles this year? And if you want to look at the most meaningful ones, it would be the URL, which got his profile elevated where people paid attention to him, and then the last one at Magnitude where he actually showed out. So he doesn't even really have that. And the, uh, the Bahamas dude, too, that the Bahamas battle. But he hasn't really taken that many battles. But he hasn't needed to because, like you said, the quality. So every time he got out there, he made sure it was of quality, right? But there's a lot of dudes out here that, just being honest, they don't really have too much quality to give. So for them, they have to do more battles because we're not really going to see anything from them if they just do one or two. Like, and, and you could say, like, I've heard KG real. was on here. Oh, go ahead real quick. I was just going to say, you got to look at a lot of niggas' goals and aspirations and the reason they do this shit also. I say about 50% of the niggas in California, this shit is like some fun hobby type, fraternity type shit to them. They're not looking at it as a career or, you feel me, like an aspiration, like so you feel me? You got to, it, it's a couple conversations that could be had. You know what I mean? Some of these niggas, of course, they not going to be at that level. And they know this. They just doing this shit for fun. So, yeah, they going to battle every two weeks. Sometimes they going to battle two times in a weekend. You feel me? Because this shit ain't nothing serious to them. But, yeah, like, for niggas that are strategically moving and not their careers, you feel me, like, my nigga, rock how you feel, you need to rock and rock with with, with what's working best for you, you feel me, like, but like I say, once we put ourselves in that public eye, we expose ourselves to certain shit and certain critique and opinions and all of that because we are the people in the public eye, you feel me, like, it sucks sometimes, but you got to take the shit with a grain of salt, it come along with the good shit. The issue isn't the opinion, right? The issue is I'm unclear about what's most important to the masses, right? Because it, it seems like when you hear talk about battles, right, it seems like quality is the most important thing, right? But then you got a nigga yeah, like me. It is. I'm given consistent quality every time I battle. I mean, just about every time I battle, right? And then it becomes, yeah. then the narrative. Switches to quantity. You feel me? Now, come, come the fuck on, man. Right. And then what is too much? Like Nico said, four. Right. When Danny Myers was battling everywhere. Everybody thought the nigga was the craziest nigga in the world. No offense to him, but look at him now. Niggas ain't seen Danny in a while. Now niggas think he lost his touch, right? Because he started at a, at a level of um, that he couldn't keep up. You feel me? He couldn't keep battling every two weeks. So where he has to slow it the fuck down. Only thing I do is I just started smart. I'm not about to be battling every Joe Blow every six months, right? I know niggas want to see me battle more often. I get it, right? I understand how being a fan works. You know what I mean? But I look at, like you saying, like Little Wayne, same shit, right? Nigga oversaturated himself, played himself. Signed his up for him. Nigga was laughing way too much, and he ran out of shit to say. 
And then it's like, is it okay to do after I hit a certain level? Can I just say whatever? Because if I can do that, I'm just come out and just, you know what I'm saying, cat in the hat, thing one, thing two, is nigga thing. You know, I got to walk it in my pocket type so I can do that. Which is actually <laughs> one of my favorite types. I'm not gonna lie. I think when it comes to you, bro, I'm, I'm just we just gotta speak the real on this phone. Like, I'm not gonna hold no punches. A lot of these niggas is mad because you tell them the real about themselves. These niggas is some shit. Let's be honest. Mo- majority of the West is not up to fucking par. I can say the majority of the West battlers are not up to fucking par. Y'all are an anomaly. Y'all are the minority as far as good battlers. This is why when we have URL PGs. It's the same people getting put on the car because ain't nobody else putting themselves in a, into a position to be on the car. We have to be honest. These niggas are not up to par. So when you tell these niggas factual shit about them, they hold grudges. They get mad at y'all for trolling. They get mad at y'all for keeping it real with them because all they want is yes, man. They want to live in their little high school bubble of I'm popular. I did this shit over here. I just got a, a few hundred views and I'm popping over here in the Facebook group. They don't want to hold themselves accountable to no real tangible work. This is why a lot of people want to come and tell you or give you critique that really they ain't even qualified to give you the critique in the first place. I'm being honest. A lot of people are not qualified to give certain people critique because you're not on that level or you are not even thinking on that level. Like you're not there. Like a person who is the 12th man on a team or he's in the D league cannot tell Mike or Brian okay, or Cole, yeah. like you can't tell these dudes certain shit. You can't critique them on certain shit. Like y'all play the same game, y'all all do the same shit, but there's levels to it. Do you understand what I'm saying? So it's like you have to like look at people. Like, are you qualified to give me this critique? Okay, if you are, I'm listening. If you're not qualified, eh, you just a hater. Like be, I'm being honest. Like we got to be real. These niggas are not up to fucking par out here, bro. And these niggas get butt hurt anytime you tell them they're not up to fucking par. Dog, you know, like, really shit ever. I'm glad. I'm glad it's just us here on the phone right now because I'm gonna speak on something that's like you know what I'm saying that Ron can actually be a testament to, right? I think Ron had his first battle, or second battle in inbox. Ron, you remember that shit when you first started battling? You inbox your first battle to check this out. Yeah. You probably, you probably don't even, I don't even remember who you were battling, but I watched that shit, right? And I got back at him, and I was like, hey, yo, you know what I'm saying? Like, I couldn't really focus on your material. Like, because he was all over the place. The nigga was walking up bush. The nigga was walking. He walked every inch of that room. <laughs> you know what I'm <laughs> And that fucking battle, the nigga was all the way the fuck over the place, right? And that's a private conversation me and him had, right? And I'm like, hey, yo, bro, like, this is that. You know what I'm saying? You could probably do better if you worked on this or contained this, right? And I'm not saying he took that and ran with it, but I, I brought that up to say that even though I may publicly tell you, hey, bro, this shit is trash, and I mean it. Right, I do mean it. <laughs> if anybody who's ever reached out to my inbox, no matter who it is, right? Anybody who ever took the time to get personal with me, like, oh, Diesel, um, check this out. I want, I want some honest feedback, right? They know I'm gonna give constructive criticism. This is what I think you need to work on. This is what I think could happen or help you out in a way, right? From my point of view, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So like, that's why when niggas be in a feelings and shit. Or be hating is because they ain't never reached out to me. I say there's probably one person that's reached out to me and was still mad at me after that was King Hush Hush. No lie, this nigga called and rap like seven minutes to me, bro. Oh my god, the worst, longest seven <laughs> minutes, some of the longest seven minutes of my life. You feel me? <laughs> and I tried to give him constructive criticism, but he was too busy arguing my opinion. You feel me? To actually for us to actually get to a point. You feel me? Um, I was telling them, like, yo, I didn't think that was good. Or he made a couple references that went over my head. Like, you know, I'm, I'm a fan like everybody else. I'm not fucking Wikipedia, bro. I may not catch everything. I'm sorry. You feel me? But anyway, so, yeah, like, yeah. So if anybody was really mad at me or really hating on me because I don't think that, I told them they weren't good online, and that's, that's just because they weren't man enough or secure enough with themselves to reach out and get honest feedback from me. You feel me? At these events, when I'm there, I tell niggas, cool, yeah, that shit was cool. Was cool. I, 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 and I'm not saying that I'm necessarily qualified or more qualified than anybody else, right, to give opinions, because I believe that uh, you can get million-dollar advice from a homeless nigga, right? Just because he went yeah. wrong, don't mean that he don't know where to go right. You feel me? And that's why I think everything okay. is important, because it isn't. You feel me? So somebody small or not small, like somebody, that's fucked up to say, right? Somebody who's still up and coming may have the right idea. Right or have like the perfect advice for somebody in my position, and they just haven't gotten it yet because they don't know how to execute it. Right, 
but they have the right concept, the right motivation, I'll take it. That's why I listen to everybody. You feel me? I don't never, I don't even be in this, oh, you ain't got enough views to talk to me type shit. That's not the type of nigga I am. You feel me? I usually tell niggas, you're not good enough to talk to me like this. You feel me? Nothing, nothing about what you're saying says that I'm weak, right? Like, that's how I am. But, like, you sit down, we chop it up, we being real with each other, like, hey, my nigga, what you think about this? I'm going to keep it a band with you. You know what I'm saying? And I'm I'm not going to hold no punches. So if niggas is really hot at me, you know what I'm saying, because I joke too much online, then nigga grow up, bro. <laughs> you feel me? Y'all niggas are too soft. Y'all take this shit way too serious, my nigga. You feel me? This shit, like, yeah. yeah. That shit weak, but nah, at like, the same time, and I want to make sure I want to make sure I'm clear on that too. Like, I don't want to say like if you're a low level or low tier dude, or your name's not really known, you don't have, you're not qualified to give somebody who may be top tier or something like that critique. It's based on the person. Like, if you're half assing in your battles, you're choking all the time. You're you can't you're, tell like no shit. showing. You're like. If you're one of them type people, like, and you just can't say anything to anybody because you yourself don't even take your own craft serious enough to even come right. prepare. Like, yeah. preparation is key. Like, Danny Danny says this all the time, man. The thing about it that creates separation is preparation. If y'all not even preparing, I can't even take you seriously when you're trying to critique somebody. Like, I, there's been people on this show who I've had to literally cut off and kick off the line Cause I'm like, bro, you're no showing the battles. You're not even bringing three full rounds. You're fucking like having your homies gas. Fucking I said, and niggas is fucking going crazy. Like, no, like get out of here. But now if the person is actually taking their craft serious, then I can say, okay, I can respect the fact because you actually take it seriously, regardless of what your level is, but you're taking it serious. So that's what I mean by right. some people just ain't qualified for critique. It's not about your your name say. It's just more so on how serious you take. What you're trying to critique, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, I feel you. Niggas, niggas can't be AA sponsors and they relapse from every week. I feel you. You know what I'm saying? At that point in time, you're not qualified, my nigga. You're not qualified to speak on shit because you got your own demons to feel, to, to figure out and turn out and shit. I, I fuck with that. I can fuck with that. But yeah, man, this shit. I don't know. I just I feel know, like some right people right. just don't support real shit, man. Like I remember being in these. I was with you, bro. The, uh, the Survivor Series that like you when I was over when we went uh we was out in downtown L A right I remember when your fucking battle drop bro I remember sharing that shit like crazy I'm tagging motherfuckers I'm like bro the homie battle just dropped I'm excited as shit like bro my the niggas battle just dropped like my nigga battle just dropped like that shit's fucking fire I'm reading the uh, fucking YouTube comments and shit I'm seeing what niggas is talking about. Like, I'm watching, you know what I'm saying? Like, it, it was a certain level of, like, joy to see, you know what I'm saying, somebody who been putting in work have something drop on a main, you know what I'm saying? Like, it was a certain pride, you know that. Like, a lot of these dudes, man, I'm seeing these niggas not sharing it. These niggas ain't talking about it. A nigga, you know what I'm saying, get on a post, oh, well, I didn't like how this bar sounded, or I didn't like this bar. Like, my nigga, fuck all that, bro. Like, the homie just got to drop, my nigga. Like, are you serious? Like, y'all niggas not, like, I, there's so much, like, backwards logic out here in the West with dudes, man. Like, like dudes will have every critique in the world, but these niggas won't have no support, zero support, but all critique. Like, that shit got to go somewhere, man. Nah, niggas, yeah. like, like, like I said, I ain't never been the most popular nigga in my whole life. You know what I'm saying? I ain't never been the nigga, like, never. And that's why I don't even act like it. Now, because I think that's corny, right? Even though I, I battle and hit stages that some other people want to do, I've been, in, you know, what I'm saying I did certain things or hit. I do shit niggas want to do and shit, right? But I don't ever act like I'm better than niggas because, like, nigga, all that shit can be taken away in a day. You a real can stop calling my phone tomorrow. You feel me? Um, so I won't even be like tripping off that. So when niggas don't really support, like, that's cool. Like I get it, especially it's tough. No bullshit, homie. I I don't be mad because I know it's tough. To tell a nigga he dope after he just told you that you're not. You feel I me? Mean? That's something I got to work on. I got to stop, you know. I got to stop being so honest with people before they're ready to hear it. You know I mean? And that's like like when I said, like now, nigga called me a celebrity. I don't want to quote that, but he said, oh, you're a celebrity now, my nigga. You can't go to Walmart no more. You feel me? Like, you can't. And I, and I got to I gotta really start taking that shit into consideration with the moves that I'm making. You feel me? Because I get, I didn't rub too many niggas the wrong way. That sounds super weird, but I didn't, you know what I'm saying? I didn't dig, you know what I'm saying? I didn't brush, brush the wrong <laughs> I, I, I put too much emphasis on rub. That shit was sick. I rubbed. Nah, that shit was out. Um, 
<laughs> yeah, gotta fix that. Gotta, gotta fix that. Can you edit that out, Nico? Anyway, um, yeah, you know what I'm saying. So I get it. Like I don't even be mad and shit. But trust me, I don't be mad. I don't be mad when battle rappers gonna share my shit because I get it, right? Niggas be hot. You know what I'm saying? It don't even be nothing personal with me sometimes. Sometimes it just be, you know what I'm saying, they being content with their own uh, career, right, where they at. And they feel like they deserve it more than everybody else and shit. And um, so I get that. The shit that blow my mind, my nigga, is is when leagues don't, you know what I'm saying, like fans don't support me, right? Cause I get why battle rappers don't like me, right? I totally understand that. I get that, right? I'm a dickhead to the make it sometimes, right? All right, sorry, guys. If he's listening, I'm sorry. Didn't mean it. Um, but I'd be, it'd be blowing my mind when the fans don't share it. You feel me? Like, what the fuck? Like, like when niggas who, or, like, league owners be hating and shit, like, bro, why are you hating? The Northwest literally told me that they didn't book me because I trolled. I joked around on Hush Hush. And they said my <laughs> name would cross the table, and he said, nah, we're not bringing Diesel out here. He said because everybody they booked, he wanted to kick it with what? What kind of? <laughs> man, you can kind of take that philosophy and then pair it with the state of their situation right? and say, yeah, there's there's some good correlation. There's a good reason why one thing is like the other. You feel me? Because how niggas is operating, that's mad corny. I wasn't in the group chat or in the group text when y'all niggas was doing um, the the power ranking list, right? And Nico, you don't have to confirm or deny, right? Because you know, I, you know, you can you can take your position and stand it. But I don't think it's possible for you to think in your mind that I'm not correct when I say the most pushback I got came from the Northwest. And that's because of, you know, like, granted, I do be slandering their league. I do be talking shit about their whole league. I do think everybody from the Northwest is terrible. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> oh, there's so much that I can say about that. And that, it's coming back to that. Uh, yeah, I, I'd have to have one-on-one convos with some of y'all to really talk about that because, uh, yeah, we, 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 we'll we chop it up on the side. 